My name is Kochi Daktori and I'm an artist in the last uh, 45 years. I went to school at Brooklyn Museum Art School and I start my career and my life here in New York in the early 70s. For me, my work is the daily life that I wake up in the morning, come to my studio, and I respond to whatever happened to me that day. My work is still developing. It's in fact nothing is final or nothing, nothing is really a finished product. It's an endless process. Provoking, it's basically getting your attention. To get you to pay extra attention. We all pay attention to what's happening around us. But what I'm trying to do, I want, I want you to give an extra attention. And I, to get that extra attention, I can only do it by provoking you. I see eroticism in everything I do. Uh, I see um, natural things in everything I do, even my abstract work starting from something, from somewhere. When you look into my abstract shape or abstract field work, you find movement of, of natural thing, which is we can find in nature, in nature which is, could be wind, uh, movement of, of, of animals, or in my situation, a uh, human body. Right. Uh, put that down with the left foot. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. But stand up like stand up straight. Okay, that's a good one. Perfect, perfect. When I work with my mother, I basically get stimulated by, 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 my, by the model I work with. When I respond to her movement, when I respond to her reaction to me asking her to be in certain position, I get stimulated by, by her movements and I get stimulated by, by her, uh, by her um, uh, energy that come out of her to my, my drawing. It would be very hard for her to, um, to pose just like for anybody. So we do have that exchange energy as we work together, and that's what brings about ultimately the kind of work I end up having. I don't want to make a drawing that will take two, three hours. Mm -hmm. And I manipulate it, and I make it nice and beautiful. I want to make it in one line. You want it to be real. I impulsive. impulsive. To be real, but through impulsiveness. Hopefully my work will stimulate someone by looking at it. It will make someone perhaps happy or even sad or, as I said before, provoke someone that that person would want to see it again and again. Erotic images, they're all, all around us. That's why, right. So why would it make someone feel uncomfortable and see this? That's my interpretation of that specific image. And I try to make that image as, as powerful 
as possible, in this case perhaps provoking the image, provoking the, the viewer or what you see. But uh, there is many, many images all over. Some of them, you can walk in the street and see other images. Some of them do provoke you anyway. You see somebody, some girl or, or a guy or whatnot who they might, the way they walk or the way they behave, it's very provoking, but that will get your attention. Mm -hmm. Much more than someone just walking around. So this is my, my way of provoking you as well. Just to get, to get things, um, get your attention. How do you feel about when you see uh, one of those pieces? I see me. <clears throat> Drawing, it's a different kind of work as painting. Drawing, it's much more impulsive. It's much more intuition-like. I make the line within a second. I can make the shape within a very, very short time. While painting, it's much more uh, process work. Layers of paint take much, much longer time, and you have much more a, a time to uh, impose and change it as the color or as the layer of paint goes on top of each other. My first one-person show was in 1973, and since then I've been showing on and off in different places, in a bit in Europe, in Israel, and in, in the U.S. The best way to view art is by looking at and perhaps get stimulated by it. The future of it, it just for being the fact it exists and it's going to be the out there existing, that's really the future of the work. My advice for every young person is to follow your dream. If you want to be an artist, you should just go and do what you think it's the right things to do to become an artist. Don't just like try to manipulate your situation. Is it art in everything we do? Yes. Everything we do it's in fact art. Every one of us is an artist. We all are creative. Some of us are creative in a certain area and others are creative in a different area. But we all are creative. Maybe now I understand how other people view and see your paintings, it reminds them of something or that they have done or haven't done yet.